Welcome back to some Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow, everyone. I got myself some rappel juice. Uh, rapple juice. Ah, that's lovely. Lovely. Welcome back to some more Splinter Cell. We're outside the embassy. We gotta locate and question old Dougie Shetland. The Shetmeister. Uh, who should be... I think he's... He's pretty close. This this embassy isn't too big. We just gotta climb this ladder and uh, see what's going on, Sam. Yeah, this place has gone to shit. And yet we still have the sound of the uh, cicadas and everything, the nightlife, just going about the business as if nothing's going on. Oh, I can't believe. We haven't done the combat roll yet. That was the combat roll. I love the combat roll. Combat roll. Yeah. Oh, I love that so much. I used to... I, I did that all the time in my playthrough of the first game. Ooh. We've got some broken glass on the floor. Uh, it's a good job we got shoes on. Not like Mr. McLean. And I... Yeah. I always remember this guy with the binoculars. Just gonna slip on by him. No problem. And uh, that guy there is Sedono. Well, for some reason, it's not triggering anything yet. Maybe I just need to get closer. Freeze, Fisher. Not a muscle. Sedono is right on top of you. I know. If he sees you, this mission is over. Oh, no. But why me? I, I, I didn't see anything. But did you hear something? No. Just Pandora tomorrow. <gasps> and then a lot of gibberish. You said the name of the game. Ah. I couldn't understand any of it. Give me a box. I... Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's gonna let him live. Oh, what? Oh! Sedono. You bad man. He's separated from the others. Absolutely. Kim doesn't open the door unless I radio him. We should break his fingers if we want him to talk. Yes, maybe. But do it quietly. And slowly. Oh, you're a nasty man, Sedono. Shoot. She, he shot that guy right in front of that lady. Were they related? Who was that guy? I sure hope I wasn't supposed to save him. That, that isn't Shetland, though. We're okay. Uh, right. Question is, how do I get past this guy? Isn't he going to see me? If I go past this doorway? What if I do the SWAT turn? Oh, it won't let me do the SWAT turn! The door's too wide! Oh no, all my training's gone down the shitter, Sam. What are we gonna do? How do I get past this guy? Would he technically see me if I... Maybe if I do this really, really, really carefully. Oh my god. Fuck! He did see me! No! No, sir! Oh! That, that doom scared the There's shit out here. of me. Christ alive! And, and, I done, I done sold my, my britches. Uh, climb out. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, right into the fire. Sam, are you mad? Uh, okay. Look around this way, and Talk, yeah. Where is it? I don't- I don't know if there are subtitles. I- I- I don't think there are. There's no subtitles. So I'm sorry, guys. There's no subtitles in this game. Do I want to save my settings? I didn't change any. Thanks. But sure, okay. I'm glad the save was successful. Saved all that important things, you know, all those important things that I changed. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> no, it asks me to save again! Oh, uh, but it's saving my actual progress, so it's, it's different. Right. Sounds like someone's getting a C in two. Someone's getting duffed up. And I think it might be my mate Shet Shet Shetty. 
Chateaurino. I have to keep you alive. I don't have to keep you comfortable. Don't tempt me. How do I open this? Oh, I was supposed to go around to the balcony. Shit. Where is the disc? Give it to me. Shit. How do I get around? Crap. Where is it? How do I <laughs> can't get around there now? Oh, climb out. There we go. Okay, maybe I was supposed to do that. I only have to keep you alive. I don't have to keep you comfortable. That guy's got a very limited uh, vocabulary. Not got much interrogation material. Where is the disc? Give it to me. Gotcha, bitch. Don't worry, Shetland. I've got him now. He ain't going anywhere. Uh, it won't let me interrogate this guy, though. I want to interrogate the inter in interrogator. The interrogator becomes the interrogatee. I kind of want to throw him out the window. Oh, can I actually... Can I actually send him over the... Oh, then again, I'm not allowed to do any lethal attacks, so probably not. Let's just... Let's just leave him out here in a bit of fresh air. So, with any luck, he wakes up with a stiff neck. There we go. Oh, and we can take his uh, satchel. That's uh, a thing that returned. And some ammo. And some more ammo, which we don't... Oh, we don't need. We're full. All right, buddy. Douglas, it's been a while. Fisher? My God, man, you're getting old. Thanks, man. Peace. Where are the rest of the SEALs? I'm working alone. Haven't been Navy for a decade. Then who are you with? I'm here on damage control. Just came to smash your computer. Thank God. Oh, should I say the CIA? Keep guessing. I tried to destroy it, but who knows how much data they were able to pull down. I've consulted on security for targets all over the world. Who do you work for? Delta? No. Staying anonymous. Uh-huh. Maybe you've got a use for this storage device I pulled off the gorilla I killed. Thanks. How'd you hide it from your guard? Just wash your hands when you're done with it. Oh! Oh, no! I don't want- I don't want your poop phone, Shetland! Or your poop card. He didn't- he didn't put the whole phone- <laughs> He didn't put the whole phone up there. It was Pro maybe, maybe not. Easy stuff. For all the good it did us, the body text is gibberish. Brunton thinks it's a regional Indonesian dialect. We're looking for a translator. But we got the sender's alias, Mortified Penguin, and four words in the body text, Redbeard, Saulnier, and Springfield. My CIA people came through for us. The dialect is Timorese Mambay. There's an agency bureaucrat working in the embassy, an Indonesian linguist, a woman named Carlson. First name, Ingrid. She's being held in a tower off the garden behind the embassy grounds. Grimm's working on a way to contact her without alerting her guard. Carlson's your next objective. Details on your upset. Details on your upset. They're always on my upset, and I'm never going to read it. So, a couple of things there. Yeah, Brunton, I, I don't know why his, his voice delivery always sounds so freaking wooden compared to everyone else. And, uh, yeah, we rescued Shetland. Yay! But now we've got to find this uh, Ingrid woman. And I could sw I could have swore I heard someone walking around, like, really close. Somewhere outside this door. Ah, oh, shit, there is. You're not the person walking around, though. Someone else is walking around. Where did Shetland go? Where did Dougie go? Doesn't he know there's, like, tons of people walking around with guns? Maybe he went out this door that I can't open for some reason? Anyway. Let's uh, see if we can deal with this guy. Ooh, why is there so much broken glass? Dinner, dinner. Oh, good job there wasn't anyone down that corridor. Alright, so you're going night night. There we go. Yeah, there really isn't much left of this mission, you know. Probably could have just got it all done in one video, so I do apologize, but then again, there is always there is always room for me to fuck up. Alright, we need to find our way to the courtyard, so I think we have to go downstairs. Lovely wallpaper. Ah, this door's locked. 
Ah, there's some health in there that we don't actually need. It's just a toilet, so I'm probably not going to bother with that. Probably not going to bother. Yeah, I can hear someone walking around. Makes me very nervous. Such close quarters. If anyone turns around this corner, I am screwed. Should I shoot out one of these lights? I don't even know if I could. I'd feel a lot safer if I could, but sometimes these lights, if they have like, sh like a shielding around them, sometimes you can't shoot them out, which is really annoying. I'm going to try. I knew it. I knew it. Why would you have bulletproof lights in your house? Oh, are they below me? It's very dark. I don't, know what, I don't know what's causing that visual glitch down there. What if I swapped my... Okay, that's better. That's better. It's just a little bit blurrier in this mode, unfortunately, but... Seems to be more accurate. Oh, checkpoint. This house is literally on fire and everyone's just like walking around like no nothing's wrong. Right. I think we have to get across here. And there's a yeah, there's at least one dude. Hmm. I feel like the predator with this vision is great. going, bud. Can I grab you? Yes! Oh, it's just got so much easier. Just got so much easier. You have a kip at the bottom of the stairs, bud. Oh, shit. Are those dudes as well? Oh, shit. There's a couple of dudes over there. I must remember I can whistle. I can whistle to lure them over. Crap, yeah. What are they doing? They, they playing Twister? Are you reading on the floor? Alright, let's, uh... Don't really want to go near the fire, though. That's probably going to be very bright over there. What if I could get away with it? I'm probably going to do a little, uh... Save state here. Just, just in case that... Just acts like the you can quick save anywhere in the uh, HD collection, so I'm not too worried about doing that. Just don't see me. Don't see me. I'm behind. The, I'm behind the couch. I need help. Wait here. What? How did you see me? I was behind the couch on fire. Ah, oh, balls. I knew it. So what if I whistle one of them over here? Who's there? <laughs> it's so comical. Right, so they should come over to where I was. Oh, only one of them is. Oh, you just signed your death warrant, bud. You're going sleepies. Uh oh. Oh my god. Why did he decide to go this way? Yeah, if you get close enough, you can just smack him like that. Right, you're 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 in the dark there. Jolly good. Alright, maybe your friend won't see me now? Or maybe- nah, I should probably just whistle and get him out of the way too. Oh shit, I'm not completely in darkness here. Turn around. Turn around, sir. God. I hate- I never- I never quite know where they're gonna be. Or where they're going to go, I should say. But we've got them both pretty nicely there. That worked out very, very well. Let's drag you over here. Doesn't really matter exactly where, as long as you're in the dark. Okay. I think that's all of them. What were they looking at? Oh, it's a map. Oh, it's a comically sized world map. Or map of the region. 
It's good to know that while they, they are guards and, you know, should be primarily concerned with security, they were, they were, they were bettering themselves. They were learning some, some geography. Right. Courtyard, I think, is this way. I think. Yes. It is very dark. Can I change the brightness at all? There is no brightness settings whatsoever. Uh, do you want to save your settings? No. Yes. I didn't do anything. Right, I think if it, if this is the bit I'm thinking of, this is where it kind of flips the script a little bit on what a typical Splinter Cell player would be comfortable doing. As you're about to find out. Okay, next area. Oh, I need more uh, rapple juice. I love it so much. I very rarely have it. Ah, that SWAT turn. Can't believe it wouldn't let me do it on the other door. But again, like, just because you're you're spinning round going really fast doesn't mean people can't see you. <laughs> Save game, yes. Yes, please. Let's create a new save every time, just in case anything messes up with the video, which, uh, Really hope isn't the case. I haven't really done much testing, so... Huh, right then. Lovely rug. This is the bit that... I tend to struggle with. Freeze, Fisher. I'm getting new information. Grim's daughter thinks she's gotten through to Ingrid. There's a guard near her. But she was able to snag a flashlight. She's in the right window on the second floor. Okay. Hi, Ingrid. You're not gonna like this. Chances are. Security camera tap shows a lone guard overlooking the next courtyard. Yeah, I can see him. Vision goggles. Oh, he's got night vision. Yep. Well, he's not got them over his eyes right now. Searchlight. They haven't shut down. Should be blinding through night goggles. You're telling me to stay in the light. I said you wouldn't like it. Uh huh. Which I thought was cool. They, they, I think they do it a couple of times in the game. I, I can't remember specifically, but yeah, we got to stay in the searchlight, which uh, is very counterintuitive for old Sam. But we're gonna have to uh, adapt here. I'll have to wait for the bloody thing to come back because if I think you can't really do it without the searchlight. If you try sneaking out there, he will just see you, uh, and I will absolutely mess this up. So. Let's, uh, let's save. Where is this bloody searchlight? Here it comes, here it comes. Come on, bud. Right. Oh. Yeah, we gotta be quick. Oh, gosh! You bastard! Ah, oh, they... S <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did you see it, like... Zipped and zagged and z z uh. I don't remember it being that difficult to follow. Let's try that again. That was not a game over because I, I reloaded before the before the end of the mission. All right, now now we're good. I think now we're good. Whoa! The searchlight doesn't know where it wants to go. It's automated. Why would they automate it to have such an erratic pattern? Look, I'm just like, so, so out in the open. This feels so wrong, and yet I'm safe as houses, apparently. Okay, we made it. Did I just hear a turret then? Oh shit, I think there is a turret over that way. Maybe that's to stop you from cheesing it and going... On the outside of the courtyard? I don't know if I've ever tried that. Anyway, we made it. Now we just gotta take out the uh, the dude. Who should still be upstairs. I hope. Oof. 
very, very slowly. Sam's a lot of broken glass around here. Don't want you cutting your feetsies. Be very, very quiet. Where is this guy? Is he up? Okay, well, there's more health there if we wanted it. Don't need it. I just really hope we don't have a case of the uh, psychic guards who suddenly decide to turn around as soon as they get close. Which happened a couple of times in the first game. There he is. Better fucking not turn around, bud. I will cry. And it'll be very uncomfortable for both of us. Why are you stood in so much broken glass, dude? Gotcha. Okay. Whew. Right. Uh, I have to find some... Oh, I guess this is dark enough. Bonk. Right, Ingrid. There you are. Hello. Ingrid. You must be my blind date. I hope the bit with the flashlight helped. It did, thanks. I'm doing the best I can. This hasn't turned out to be the desk job I was hired for. <clears throat> I'm a word cruncher. Word crunching's what I need, look. Nice PDA. Are you saving up for the color model? Wow. Can you read it? It's phonetical mambe. Not a native speaker, but fluent. Gives numbers for a meeting place. 4857 North. 0308 East. 18 hours. The only reference to the location is Solnier. That's not Mambe. It says they're only a few weeks from securing the uh, ingredients for the Springfield demonstration. And that's it. It's signed, Mortified Penguin. <laughs> Mortified Penguin? Your guess is as good as mine, but I wouldn't recommend guessing. And while you're at it, forget everything you've seen, heard, and said. Are you going to be all right if I leave here? Would you stay if I said no? No. Well, well we're out of here. There's a nice synchronicity between those coordinates and the name Saunier. Both match a cryogenics lab in Paris. And we just got word from Delta. They're sending their boys in. Which means you're off the leash. Merry Christmas, Fisher. Shoot all the gorillas you like. You have a quick exit downstairs at the base of the tower. Cohen is waiting for you in the village. The Osprey can't land in the village. Cohen's afraid of being too good a target. Cut the power from all the spotlights in the village. They'll fly as low as possible to pick you up at the end of the pier. God damn it. It's never easy, is it, Sam? Never easy. Uh, yay! Merry Christmas, fish. Just shoot all the bad guys you want. That's what I've always wanted. How did you know? Combat roll. Combat roll. Yes! God, I love the combat roll. It's so satisfying. Well, I just did just roll straight into some broken glass, so that's probably hurt quite a lot. Right, we gotta take out searchlights in the village. And they'll be good to go, and we're pretty much done. Now, I don't know if there's going to be any more landmines. Oh, shit, where are you going, bud? Where are you going, bud? Who's there? Who's there? Go check it out. Go find out. Could be a friend. Could be a foe. Yoink! <laughs> God, the whistle. The whistle makes this game... A lot easier. Uh, in the first game, you couldn't do that shit. You'd have to find a bottle or something to throw. This is so much more efficient. Although, again, not really sure how realistic it would be. Right. I think we have... Is that one of the searchlights up there? Kind of looks like one. Uh, there's a dude up, up there. Oh, no, there's not. It's just a switch. Now, is anyone going to see me do this? There is a dude. Yeah, there's a dude over there. Okay, is he coming this way? They are actually, they're really hard to see in night vision. Their camouflage is working a treat. But again, the game's just that, it's just that damn dark. Really hope I don't get seen here. All right. One down. God, I, 
always, I always think how Sam must have the worst back pain. He spends so much time in this position. <laughs> Am I safe here? I should be safe. Looks pretty, looks pretty dark to me. Just don't mind about the goggles. They can't see those. That's just for our benefit. Okay, that's the next one. Alright, where did he stop and stand? He stood over there, didn't he? I'm just going to wait for him to uh, do his thing. I'm always so nervous, though, whenever they change direction. Don't turn around. I'm just. I, sometimes I just mash that button. All right, you're done. I do miss. Oh well, like I can't wait to play Chaos Theory. For one thing, it's just the best freaking split cell game. But you can like decide to be lethal or non-lethal with them when you grab them. And plus, just Sam has a knife, which you would think. I don't know why they didn't give him a knife until the third game. I remember reading a uh, magazine review of Chaos Theory, and they had the tagline, like, the knife is the last thing you learn, which I think is a reference to uh, Leon the Professional. But I was always like, why wouldn't he just have a knife? He's a freaking Special Forces Commando. The knife is, like, the most basic of tools they would have. No, not Sam. He likes to just bonk him with his pistol, because that's way more efficient. Doesn't even like choke them out. Like you think that would be again pretty pretty basic stuff. Right, I think we're in the clear. Is this the last one? Is there another one? There must be. Gotta be careful around these corners, Sam. Oh god, I thought I was just gonna li Oh! There's a dude! Oh shit. Well, I can shoot them now. Boop! <laughs> Alright, would've been cool if I could just go straight through it, but... It's fun shooting people in the face as well. There's our uh, ride out of here. Mission complete. Do, 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 do. Love that. Ah, oh, feels like a proper Tom Clancy game when you get something like that. All right, mission information. Uh, good news: your overall, uh, your overalls, optical and acoustic sensors work even better than planned. Here's what they get. Stats. People killed one. People knocked out twelve. Sound accumulation. Luminosity. Ac who the fuck needs to know that? Seriously, who the heck needs to? That means nothing. It took us just uh, just under an hour to do. Okay, yeah, these these missions are gonna be pretty long. Uh, I would like to save my game. All right, on to mission two. Oh, after one of these news things. Rescued from the U.S. Embassy to Dili by Delta Forces, stationed at the nearby training grounds of the Timorese Defense Force. All but one of the hostages have been accounted for. Hi, Doggy. Continue to voice protest at Japan's formation of an information self-defense force, promising sanctions of both... Of both what? I want to know what the sanctions are for. To General Kellner's announcement of increased U.S. military presence in East Timor with cautious support, justifiably wary of the response from neighboring. From neighboring what? Who? From neighboring who? You just never get the full story, do you? Identify Sedono's chief mercenary. Right. So we're going to be in uh, in France. I do remember this mission quite well, uh, for one particular reason that I'll will become apparent when we get to it. But this this is quite a tricky one. There's a couple of time sequences. So, uh, yeah, we gotta... Gotta track down Sedono's uh, dude. 
Uh, oh wow, they'd let me have 10 save slots. Welcome to Paris. You'll have time for sightseeing later. Thanks, Lambert. Grimm extracted enough from Sonia's security systems to trace Mortified Penguin's movements. But we don't know why, Mortified what he penguin. Was, or who he is. Is he still inside? Hard to say. The man's cover is rock solid. Are you saying he's CIA? If he is, he's under deeper cover than I've ever seen. We've got intel linking him to at least a dozen French Syrian terrorists. As Mortified Penguin? The email alias is all we've got. It's ridiculous, but that's probably the point. Like the smiley face on a cobra's hood. Mm. Mortified penguin. So that's who we're going to try and track down next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, hope you're enjoying this so far. We got the first mission done. There's like, I think, seven more. So it's not a super long game, but... Uh, yeah, this next one, this next mission's going to... Going to require some brain power. You could say, <laughs> you'll know when we get to it. Uh, thank you, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.